the topic of voice diary, April 27, stop walking on the water. Yesterday, my club member visited my club, our club. He came late after he finished working at his uh, workplace. He lives in city and it took him to get here about one hour, 30 minutes or two hours. It's not short, it's not long, just uh, yeah, driving from city to the beach village. When he came, uh, I just finished the online language exchange. We cooked some crabs, flower crabs, interesting name, but directly flower crabs in Korean. And we enjoyed eating. After then, we cook with the claps and noodle called ramen. We drink some beer and then talking about um, the stories, lots of things that is personal stories. Late night, we slept for next morning sub tour. In the morning, and we woke up at 7 a.m. And water comes up. It was high tide. Uh, we drank uh, a cup of coffee and prepared to get stop working in the water. First, we do get some wetsuits and then put on wetsuit and put on shoes. And we brought sub and paddled to the beach side. I took a short video to my YouTube channel after then, we start to directly to the island. We paddled and water was very calm, no wind. So we uh, paddled to the island. We saw a few people on the rocks were fishing and a rubber boat uh, was on the water where two anglers was fishing. We reached the island. I sat down and then took a video, took a picture. When I took a video, When I took a video, the phone was in the waterproof bag. The camera range took rainbow from the sunlight because the waterproof bag got wet. A little watery liquid made the uh, infection of uh, whitening, which uh, made the rainbow light. It was beautiful in the camera. 
and I could see, and then I got. And we took a rest, and we started to paddling to directly lighthouse at port. I measured uh, the distance uh, after paddling when I came back my shop. Using neighbor map, it says 1.8 kilometer from island to the right house. The total distance about 44 kilometers. It was good time, and the uh, water is very calm. Before F, the low tide, I like uh, doing sub because uh, I don't have to walk long distance when high tide. It's uh, um, important. Even though when I finished the sub and I measured my uh, walking about more than 200 walk foot and to the my shop. Here, you can see uh, the map about 1.8 kilometer, and also the it's about uh, tide charts from the National Marine Institute, and also this is from wind group. I checked always wind speed the wave direction, the weather. This is uh, the pole distance about 4.4 kilometers while we're doing that. Uh, okay, so. I'll check. Group led. Um, Chat GPT. There is a Google Voice Diary, April 27, sub walking on the water. Yesterday, a club member visited me at my place. He arrived later after finishing work at his workplace in the city. It took him about one hour, 30 minutes, two hours to get here. Not a short trip, but not too long either. Just the right distance from the city to the beach. When he arrived, I had just finished an online language exchange session. We decided to cook some flower crust. 
an interesting name directly translated from Korean, and enjoyed our meal together afterward. We cooked cams and noodles, uh, which we called lemon noodles. Accompanied by some beers, as we chatted about various stories, including some about poetry, personal things. We stayed up late into the night chatting before finally retired for the night. In the morning, we woke up at 7 a.m. to find it was high tide. After sipping a cup of coffee, we prepared to head out onto the water. First, we donned our worsted and shoes and grabbed our butter and made our way to the beach. I captured a short video for my YouTube channel before we set up directly for the nearby island. The water was calm with no wind, and we passed a few people fishing along the way. As we approached the island, I sat down and took another video. I made sure to keep my phone in a waterproof bag, which ended up getting a bit wet, causing the sunlight to refract through the water droplet and create a beautiful rainbow effect in the video. It was a stunning sight. After enjoying the moment, we continued paddling for the lighthouse. Upon returning home, I measured the distance we covered using a neighbor's map app. It turned out to be approximately 1.8 kilometers from the island to the right house, making the total distance from about 44.4 kilometers. It was a fantastic experience, especially before the low tide setting. I always enjoy these outings, in particular because I don't have to cover long distances during high tide. Overall, it was a fulfilling day, adding more than 200 steps to my working count for the day. Looking forward to more adventure like this in the future. The end.